On Thursday, Maine continued its descent into a deep freeze with temperatures dipping below zero. Winds are forecast to increase on Friday, creating dangerous wind chill conditions for people who are outdoors. The Press Herald checked in with people whose work forces them to be exposed to the elements to see how they cope with the extreme cold. Bobby Wood, a fisherman who was unloading pollock and cod off the Jamie and Ashley on Thursday at the Portland Fish Pier, said that his experience in the Bering Sea in the late 1980s, where temperatures dropped to 70 below zero, helped to prepare him for the frigid conditions he endures fishing in the Atlantic in winter. Jake Charles, who grooms trails at the Sugarloaf Resort in Carabasset Valley, has experience with extreme conditions on the mountain and knows to dress in layers and to avoid wearing cotton, which can retain moisture. Funeral directors Jonathan Cagney and Jeffrey Inman set flowers at a headstone after a graveside ceremony at Forest City Cemetery in South Portland on Tuesday. People just count on you to do your job, says Cagney. You bundle up, you wear your boots, you keep your feet dry, he says. Toll collector Kathy Pingree uses three heaters to keep her toll booth warm and alternates standing and sitting to keep the steel floor from chilling her toes. Greg Mitchell shoveled snow off the decks of the Magigon 2 ferry on its way to Peaks Island on Thursday. To combat the biting wind of Casco Bay, Mitchell drinks plenty of fluids, including tea, dresses in layers, and keeps moving to stay warm. Gretchen Frank, a senior deckhand with Casco Bay Lines, started wearing goggles a few years ago to help keep warm and keep the cold wind off her face. They really do make a difference, she says. 